Okay, hi everyone. So I think I know a lot of you in the room um, from previous role. Um, so I'm Amy Pitt, I'm the Director of uh, Strategy and Transformation Council. And I'm uh, leading on the County Plan. So I'm here today to tell you a bit about the County Plan. It can be a little bit of a dry subject, and you know Council does love the strategy, so I'll try and make it a bit more uh, light on that. And as uh, Christine said, we have got a uh, workshop afterwards on this uh, as well. So in terms of the county plan, some of you may already know it, some of you may uh, have one by the side of your bed, I doubt it, but uh, the county plan for the council is very much um, the key strategic document for us, um, and in what it does, it tells us what we're going to do um, for the next four years. So currently, we've got a county plan that's in place up until the end of March this year, that was agreed by the previous administration, and um, as you know, we had elections next last year. So we've just been doing over the last few months um, a lot of work with the current administration and our leadership team and our staff in terms of actually what is it we want to achieve now over the next four years <coughs> in line with uh, um, um, and also our, our kind of our priorities. So the county plan really outlines our ambitions, our vision, our aims, our objectives, our priorities, all those key buzzwords that we love. Um, and so we'll really talk about actually what we're going to achieve, like I said, in those four years. What we also produce alongside that is a delivery plan. So on an annual basis, we have a delivery plan that, um, that sets out the key projects, initiatives, etc., that we're going to deliver against those ambitions and uh, those objectives. Um, it's a really key document for us. So I know David's just spoken about the big economic plan, and that obviously is a key document for us, but this is, if you like, our, the daddy document for us. Anything, any key decisions that we make, um, any decisions that we make from a local authority perspective have to be very clearly articulated how we're going to achieve those ambitions. It also directs our resources from a revenue perspective, um, capital perspective, and also our staffing perspective. So really key in terms that we get it right um, in terms of our <coughs> delivery. So these are the kind of two previous um, county plans that we've got in, uh, that we've had. So the current one, obviously, uh, there, 2024, like I said, is from the previous administration. Um, and then 2016 to 2020 was uh, when the Conservatives were in, um, uh, elected at that time uh, as well. So just a bit of how it works, how we, how we, how we kind of work from a council perspective um, and the alignment in terms of uh, the, the county plan and how that aligns to other uh, things and how we work. So the county plan is at the top of that triangle, like I said, it's the key document for us. And then we have those other key documents in terms of strategies that link in, that demonstrate then how we work, how we deliver against those ambitions in the county plan. Um, they're absolutely there to enable the, the county plan to be achieved. So, like I say, what David just described in terms of the big economic plan. Um, that has oversight from Cabinet and our corporate leadership team across the whole council. Um, and then also underneath that, like I said before, we do have our um, delivery plan. It is an annual delivery plan that gets approved by our Cabinet um, on an annual basis in terms of being clear on our deliveries, um, our resources, and clearly linked into our budget as well. Um, so then underneath the kind of line, that, that grey line is our operational business. So across our directorates, um, we obviously then have business plans um, mon and then monthly monitoring as well of our reporting of how our performance is again against those deliverables and against those ambitions. Um, and then we also do call, um, quarterly reporting as well. So one of the key things that's coming through around, uh, around uh, the, the, the engagement of the county plan and what the current members are really keen to articulate in this is actually how does the county plan align to those other key strategic documents because we do have a lot, um, we do have some ones that are actually driven by national government but actually some that we, are, we do locally. So what part, of the, um, part of the plan will be, well, we will look to clearly articulate the interdependencies between the different documents. So um, within that, you know, we've got things like the local plan, um, transport plan, heritage and master plan, carbon management plan, community strategies, um, medium term financial strategies, capital strategies. As I said at the beginning, we love a strategy. So this is trying to see how we actually, how they all work together, what's the interdependencies and how they kind of, how they look to support each other. One of the things as well that we're obviously what, what we have to, what is, what is going to drive our ambitions and our aims is um, clearly understanding Herefordshire. So understanding our contacts to Herefordshire and the <coughs> population, where are our challenges, where are our issues in Herefordshire, um, and then that will base and inform some of what our priorities need to be. This is a docu this is a, um, a slide that was kind of developed last year as part of the Health for Wellbeing strategy, which I think you were engaged in as well um, in terms of the uh, in terms of the development of that. But this, on a page really, kind of articulates some of our, some of our areas, some of our challenges, some of our opportunities, some of our strengths as well. 
But um, what this is clearly trying to say is actually we, we um, take it from an evidence base and a database in terms of actually then how, what we want to achieve and how we're going to um, deliver that. So we'll come on to this in a minute in, the, in terms of the uh, engagement. Uh, but within the plan, um, we're looking to have uh, three themes um, and then within that then our ambitions. So currently we've got three themes as well in the current county plan. Um, slightly going to be changed. These are going to be people. Um, enable and encourage residents to thrive. Uh, place, protect our environment through innovation and best practice and promote initiatives that address the environmental challenges we face. And growth. So invest in the economy and economic growth. Um, and underneath them we have what we call our we will statements. So at the moment what we're doing, and this will part our form our um, engagement with you in a minute, is um, looking at these um, we will statements, have we got them right um, for the first one, but also you know, when do we want to achieve these as well over the next four years, because we've only got one pot of money, one set of resources and staffing, so we want to hear from you actually about where, how, when we want to deliver them um, and within that for the next four years. Um, some of them might be missed, so there might be some things that we've missed, you feel as well, if you're a really strong um, view on that, then we can um, pick that up. I'm not going to go through these individually because you will have an opportunity on your table to, um, to look at those. Obviously, these slides can be circulated afterwards. Um, but like I said, these are really key in terms of our wheel wheels and our ambitions that we're going to deliver and to achieve over the next uh, four years. Some of them are quite big um, for us to achieve, and obviously, a lot of these we can't do of ourselves um, as well. So uh, in terms of some of the key deliverables um, that you might have already, again, you might have already heard about from our administration and our, and our cabinet in terms of what they want to look to deliver um, in, in the next just kind of four years. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of a wheel here. Um, some of these are around things like the Western Bypass and Bridges, um, the Waste Strategy, Children's Services, Employment Land, Improving Our River Quality, um, having some focus on the rural and market town development. Our local plans, that's very much around the planning policy, so where we're going to put our infrastructure, where we're going to put our houses, etc. for the next sort of 20, 30 years. Investment in infrastructure across the county, a bit more, just touching on what David just mentioned before, and then what David also mentioned around the investment in the library and museum. And one thing we have to also include in here um, is around adult services as well, supporting and um, improving and continuing um, the development of our <coughs> adult services across Herefordshire as well, so a key one. So those are some of the key deliverables that the Cabinet are looking at um, to deliver over the next four years. Again, there are some really big, chunky items in there, certainly around the infrastructure, bridges, bypasses. You know, we've, we've, you know it's been around a long, quite a while, some of the bypass, so you know, so some big, chunky items in there. But there is a clear ambition and appetite for us to move forward on those. So in terms of the plan, um, what we're trying to move towards this time is a very much more of a dynamic plan, if you like. At the moment, it's very much a paper copy. It's there. It's online. Maybe not many of you have seen it. Um, and um, I won't test how many people have. But what we're looking to have this time is very much a stream, streamlined document. It will be a very visual document online um, and a bit more innovative. We'll have some um, things like videos on there. We'll have some more sort of slide effects just to try and bring it alive to people so actually people can really um, understand it and, and, and um, sort of uh, you know, read it a bit more effectively. Um, we'll have some of those key strategic documents, like I said, and diagrams, and our deliver for us, the delivery plans are really key and critical in terms of um, being held to account in terms of delivering that, but also how we're going to achieve those ambitions. A bit of a plan, um, we love a plan as well. So uh, the, we will be looking to get approval of the county plan at the May AGM for the council, full council. It is a full council decision, so all the members elected need to um, uh, you know, ultimately have a, have a vote on this. Um, so that will be in May. We then have to go through a pr uh, process of going to get it to our cabinet as well. Um, what you'll see here, up until the end of uh, middle of sort of February, we are looking to do some engagement. We did extend that. The cabinet were really clean before Christmas that we extended our engagement, um, which is really positive. Um, and then we are having further engagement back in, in March as well, where we have we will have the plan, the delivery plan, um, to come back and talk to you all and others around around what. Sort of what it looks like, what it's feeling like, and if you've got the right deliverables in there as well. Um, so yes, that kind of gives a bit of, bit of an overview of the county plan. Hopefully it wasn't too dry, but like I said, I mean, I suppose one of the key messages for me today, if you can take away, is this is a really key document for us. This is the document that will, you know, deliver and um, tell us what we're going to achieve over the next four years. Thanks, Amy. Um, I think rather than take questions, uh, because we're going to get a whole hour 
to, to work with impact on feeding views in on this plan. It might be best if you have anything specific for Amy about the process of developing the plan. You can catch it during the break, but I think save all your views on the content uh, in terms of the plan for the engagement exercise might be best. That's fine. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah.